What's up, cheapskates? I was looking for ways to annoy and confuse everyone around me, and I found Roy, the extreme cheapskate. First thing you should know about Roy, he's got two shirts. This one for when he's trying to look like a sunset in the Spongebob universe, and this one for when he wants to look like a mob boss at a bowling alley. Second thing you need to know about Roy, he's a master of wordplay. I perceive myself as being very Roy Zorsful. It's worked out well for us. And apparently the third thing you need to know is that he hasn't quite mastered the art of picking up canine feces. Let's watch that again. Full. It's worked out well for us. It's like he's directing a plane towards a runway, except it's hunks of digested kibble. Here we are in my kitchen. Basic refrigerator. I'm gonna play that again to show you what I pictured when he called his fridge basic. Here we are in my kitchen. Basic refrigerator. You'll notice the cherries have no stems on them. I pull them all off before I weigh them, so I don't have to pay for the stems, because you can't eat the stems. I was curious if Roy was right, so I looked online and I found this article about the benefits of cherry stem tea. Apparently, it has many wonderful benefits, including waterless removes, cleans blood, and it helped toe P.S. lose weight. And these are grapes, which I do the same thing for. I pull the little vines off, Save four or five cents each time. This man has being a cheapskate down to a science. He's saving money on a cent by cent scale. One of the ways that I save money in my bathroom for about five to six cents. See, cent by cent. Bubbling antacid tablets, and I just drop it in the bowl, and voila, sparkling clean. I don't know if I'd call it sparkling clean. The toilet probably won't have indigestion anymore, which is great, but it doesn't really look like it has that classic toilet bowl sheen that I've come to expect. In the tank of the toilet, just insert a large stone or a brick. Ew. It replaces a great deal of the water. I think this is one of those novelty bricks that you can get with your name or initials on it. Some poor bastard out there with the initials JMC has no idea that his expensive brick is currently living in the back of Roy's toilet. I have probably a lifetime supply of dental floss considering I reuse it. Imagine the smell of reused floss. What was once minty fresh is now breath. Use it once or twice. Make sure there's nothing clinging on. Hang it on my clothesline. That clothesline probably has more bacteria on it than a Las Vegas toilet being chewed on by a Komodo dragon. Yes, can I help you folks? Hey, how are you? Hi. Never been better, Roy. Uh, I try and see which ones I like. You have a little cup by any chance? Oh. Beautiful. Oh good, he's tasting vanilla. Uh, Gotta try all the exotic flavors first. All right, I'll try some. Try what? The samples. One of each, maybe? Wait, One of uh, each? Yeah, one of each. You got a problem, you can pick it up with my other shirt. Did you want to taste? This is a birthday cake. Oh, birthday cake. What can I get you? Uh, what else you got? Another sample? Kind of weird that they have giant pictures of pornography hanging by their ice cream shop. Ma'am, are you with him? Unfortunately. I didn't feel too good that my husband was up there Sampling, sampling. Is that a second sample of vanilla? Really comfortable, and I was really uncomfortable. Beautiful. Thank you very much. What are you getting? I just love this shot. The look of disbelief on his wife's face as he's standing there with four ice cream samples in his hands is the exact same expression I had when I realized that this show is on the Learning Channel. I got these. I'm full now. So what is it going to be? What are you going to do? I'm a little full. Thanks a lot. Well, they ain't paid for nothing. You just ate 14 samples. This guy would make the world's greatest life coach. Imagine him following you around and pointing out all your mistakes. You just ate 46 egg rolls. You just wasted $900. You just spilled lipstick in my bag. Oh, you spilled... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Two for the matinee. Three for the matinee. I can't believe Roy brought me to the movies. I haven't been to the movie in I don't know how long. That's great, I hope you have a good time. But did you not think it was a little weird that there was literally no one else in the theater? It looks like the last two people on Earth are doing their best to live in a post-apocalyptic hellscape. It's a big waste of money to buy food at the snack bar or concessions in any movie theater. Here, keep it low. Who the hell's gonna see it? People smuggle food into the movie theaters all the time. I don't like it, but they do it. What do you mean, they? I just watched you do it. Another $10. Now it's time for my stuff. You said you didn't want the apple. Nobody wants the apple, Roy. You probably used it as a dog toy instead of buying a ball. Candy or a drink Pretty or something. Pretty insistent on that, aren't you? 
To be fair, she did just have to sit there while you chowed down and got your potassium levels back up. Well, I made a movie. All right. Let me go throw this away. I like to think that he saw that recycling sign and thought it applied to popcorn, but not to his banana peel. My lucky day. Popcorn. Thank God this movie theater's deserted. Imagine if someone came out and saw Roy shoulder deep in a trash can with pre-owned popcorn in his hand. Clean out this cup, it'll be good as new. You know how all new cups are soaking wet and used to be in trash cans? With their popcorn and soft drinks, so I found a few containers in the trash and surprised my loving wife. Roy stays strapped with the straws. Can't beat free. Surprise. Oh. Other people's backwash. Oh. And a straw, too. Oh, I was just going to ask you for the straw. I thought you probably wouldn't have gotten one. Oh, come on. Oh, come on is right. Has she not seen his pockets? It looks like he's preparing to build a vacation home out of free movie theater straws. Well, that's pretty much all the money-saving tips Roy has for us. If you thought any part of this video was funny, please like the video and hit the subscribe button. Also remember to share it with your friends and family. If you didn't like it, share it with them anyway so they can learn about alternative uses for bricks and how to rob ice cream shops. Thanks for watching.